What's up guys and welcome back to the Creative Pineapple. Today we are going to be creating a reference guide for our elements of art. So first thing you're going to want to do is take your paper and we're going to divide it into, we're going to fold it into thirds. So you're going to take your paper, fold it over once, we're going to go to about the halfway point. So if you want to fold it in half first to kind of see where halfway is going to be, make like a little mark over here. So I know that half is somewhere around there. So I'm going to fold my first one over. And then I'm going to fold my second one over. So we're going to crease the edges. And then once they're done, I usually take my fingernail and crease it one more time so it's nice and tight. All right, and then when you're ready to start putting the elements of art in there. So we are going to start, remember there's seven elements. So what I want to do actually is start with a pencil. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put lines to divide this in seven pieces. So let's see. Let's... Okay, so I've figured out where these lines need to be. So to make this better, we're going to try to use a ruler. But I know a lot of you guys don't have rulers at home. So today I'm going to show you how to do that with a book if you would like to. So I have this book. This is actually my wife. She likes to do scratch off art or like etching art. So what I'm going to do is take the back of this book the cover and line it up with where I want to make my line. So again if you're at home and don't have a ruler you can use the side of a book and it'll work just as well. So I'm going to line it up with where I want the line try to make sure it matches the top so it's straight across and then we're just going to try to very straightly smooth it down to the sides. Go to where we wanted our line and draw our first line. I'm going to go to our second one there we go, and we have seven sections. So the lines are perfectly straight. And then each one is gonna be one of the elements of art. So this first one is gonna be line. So these are yours to decorate and make how you would like. Line has two letters on each side. So I'm gonna put L, I. So as you can see, I've tried to incorporate some of each thing in each word. So in line, I made it out of lines. I'm going to fill these with line patterns. For color, I made them bubbly so I can fit different colors in each one, kind of like a coloring page. For shape, I tried to make sure they were all like straight lines, try to make them flat. Maybe I'll draw some extra dotted lines to make sure it, or to make it look like I was kind of planning it out. I'll draw like ruler lines as if it's like blueprints for something. I'm not an engineer though, so I don't know how to make actual blueprints, so don't judge me if this is nothing like it actually is. Um, then for form, I made them 3D. We can maybe draw some shadows under there later to make it look like they're popping out. For texture, I tried to make each of them a little bit textured. We have rough, we have like smooth, we have cloudy or fluffy, we have really rough and jagged, we have smooth like glass, we have the other kind of glass that's like jagged and broken. We have brick texture. Value just looks normal, but I'm going to make them dark, lighter, 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 lightest. And then space, I had them with more and more space in between them as I drew them along. So now we're going to take our scissors, or if you don't have scissors, I prefer you do it with scissors because it's going to look a lot better. But if you don't have scissors, then you can tear along these lines. Just tear really carefully and try to make it as straight as you can. So as you can see, now we have an infographic where we have doors that you can open for each one. So line, we can open it, and we have this space right here, and this is where we're going to write the definition of line. So we're going to close that one, move on to color, and for shape, okay. And once we have this done, what you're going to do is go back and we're going to decorate each of these sections and we're going to put some examples in here and then you're going to have your finished project. So I'm going to stop this video, start another one and time lapse it and we'll see what happens. And there you have it. Here's our infographic that we'll use for the year and that you'll submit on Google Classroom. 
So all you need to do is take a picture of it like this for Google Classroom, and then I need you to open it. And I'm not gonna make the examples for inside because that's for you to come up with, but you can decorate, you can copy mine if you want, or you can come up with your own. But inside on these sections right here, these are for your examples. So make sure you put examples in those pages to show. So what you're gonna do is take a picture of this, and you're gonna open all of these. And you'll take a picture of the inside definitions and your examples on the sides. Okay? Sounds good? Sounds good. Have a great day. Peace.